I've discovered a major problem with the Cheapo Flow 3000, oh, no. and it took me several attempts to resolve it. Hopefully this video can keep you from making the same mistakes and save you a lot of time and money. Welcome to Terry Hill Farm, where we're living just two steps from off-grid. I'm Michael, and in my last video, I discussed the pros and cons of the popular all-in-one solar generator. And I left off one big pro of those all-in-one solar generators, monitoring software. Many of those all-in-one generators include apps that help you monitor all the components of the system, like the battery, the solar power, and the inverter. The EG4 3000 inverter comes with a Wi-Fi dongle and an app you can download to monitor the system called Smart ESS. This app is quite inferior to any that the all-in-one generators have. I spent several hours working with Smart ESS and finally gave up. Luckily, I found a solution you can use with EG4 3000 inverter. It's called Solar Assistant, and it's not an app. It's an on-site data logger that you can access via Wi-Fi. This helps you avoid sending all your data from your solar system to the cloud, which goes who knows where. Solar Assistant uses a Raspberry Pi mini computer that's attached to your solar system, and this lets you monitor all your system components. You can purchase the entire kit, or you can just download the software to your own Raspberry Pi and use it that way. What's really nice is, as your system grows, you can continue to use Solar Assistant because it's compatible with dozens of different brands of inverters and batteries. I opted to purchase the entire system, which inc includes an orange pie that's programmed with Solar Assistant and a power source. You'll need to provide your own mini SD card and a serial to USB cable in order to hook up the orange pie to your system. And that's where I hit a huge roadblock. Hopefully, the information I'm providing you in this video will help you avoid that roadblock and save you a week of grief trying to figure out how to hook up the Solar Assistant Orange Pi to your EG3000 inverter. First, I have to thank Pierre with Solar Assistant because he was immediately responsive to all my questions about the correct cable. In reality, you need two cables to hook it up, but one comes with the EG4, and it's the gray cable that you use to hook up the Wi-Fi dongle. We're not going to use the Wi-Fi dongle, but we're going to use the gray cable that has the serial to RS-232 plug. You'll need a serial to USB cable in order to hook up the serial to RS-232 cable with the inverter, and that will hook up to the orange pipe. I know many of your folks are IT wizards and know all about serial cables, but I did not. Apparently, serial cables contain certain chipsets, and these chipsets can be prolific chipsets or classified as FTDI chipsets. And this makes a big difference when you're trying to hook it up to the EX3000 inverter. Per Pierre at Solar Assistant, the EG4 3000 inverter will need the FTDI chipset, not the prolific chipset. So make sure when you're getting the cable that's the serial to USB cable that it's the FTDI version chipset. I tried the prolific cable and another cable until I finally figured out the FTDI chipset cable was the right one. And you can find these on Amazon. Another snag I hit was in the setup part of Solar Assistant where I selected Voltronic for the EG4 3000 inverter. And actually it should be selected as Summary, S-U-M-R-Y. But once I got the cable, and the inverter selection right in the Solar Assistant setup, I finally started receiving data from the Solar Assistant. The data logging and the graphs were comparable to the apps that you would see on the typical uh, all-in-one inverter. I really like the fact that Solar Assistant records years of data on the SD card, which lets you monitor and track your performance of your solar system. And I also like that it's local and not on the cloud somewhere who knows where. So using Solar Assistant with the Cheapo Flow 3000, you get a comparable monitoring and data logging as you would with an all-in-one solar generator. I've included a link to Solar Assistant in the video comments, and I hope that this video helps you seamlessly set up your Solar Assistant to work with your EG3000 inverter. Again, I really want to thank you for all the questions that people have sent. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to post them in the video and I'll try to address them. Hey, Remy says, if you like this video, please subscribe. 
We're gonna be taking Terra Hill Farm completely off grid over the next few months. And that's gonna be some interesting things to see, I'm sure. So from Terra Hill Farm, I'm Michael and Remy. Thank you.